Welcome to creating and assigning your first Flipgrid. First, log in to Flipgrid.com. If you don't have an account, create one. Be sure to log in with Google. Once you're in, now you can add your first grid. I already have three, so I'm going to add a new grid. Now I'm going to name it and decide how students will log into it. I'm going to make this one public. Once I click Next, it's going to ask me if I'd like to add a password, even though it's public. I'm going to turn that on and add a password to my grid, so that way only my kids can get in. Yeah, I better make sure my spelling is correct. Yep, that's right. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Hey, check it out. My grid is ready to go. Now, it already gave me just one topic, and that is like the how to meet you topic. But now I want to add another topic to my grid. Alright, now I'm going to name the topic. And I'm going to add a gift to it. So it's all about reading, we're going to add reading. I find the gift that I want. I really like this one. How cute. And now that's what my students will see when they see my topic. And there are a couple more things that I might want to edit, so I click the pencil. And I don't want it to go for a minute and 30 seconds. I want it to go for a minute. I'm going to scroll down just a little ways. And I highly recommend turning the video moderation on. That way you decide whether those videos are seen by everybody. And you can also turn on the likes if you like. I like to have those on for my students. Once I'm finished, I update. Now it's ready to go. When I click the share button, it shows me the link that I can send out to my students. I can embed this link, I can send it through Microsoft Teams, and Remind. But of course, my favorite is Google Classroom. When I click on it, it's going to automatically link with my Google account, and now I get to choose which classrooms I'm going to assign this grid to. I'm going to create an assignment, and of course I'm going to name the assignment. And there's my flip grid right there. And normally I wouldn't put a due date, but on this one it's going to have a due date. And I click Assign. And now it's sent out to my students through Google Classroom. I can also download a QR code and print them and put them all over my classroom. Thank you for watching.